What's up, YouTube? What's up, you boxing maniacs? Chew that boxing back with another one. And before I get into it, y'all already know what to do. Hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. Hit that bell icon there to the right and hit all so you can get notified on all the boxing content and all the news that I drop. And you already know what to do. Throw a straight and true jab right at that like button. You either like it or you don't like it. Either way it go, this is a boxing news station. Let your hands go. They either go up or they either go down. So let's get into it. Roy Jones Jr. He feels that he's been set up with Mike Tyson. Uh, he feels that he's been set up to get seriously hurt in the fight. Um, but Roy also said he is who, who, who he is. He is Roy Jones Jr. And he don't back down from nobody and he don't back down from no fight. So let me play a little clip by Roy Jones. Tyson, he's big as heck and he's still Mike Tyson and he still can punch. But six weeks, there's no way he can get prepared for this. Mm -hmm. So I said, you know what? I'll take that. And I jumped on it. Well, <laughs> lo and behold, something <laughs> happened. So basically, what Roy Jones is stating that um, he was supposed to fight Mike Tyson September 12th. That fight did not materialize. The fight been pushed back to November 28th. So within six weeks, Roy Jones said, oh, the fight is September 12th. Six weeks. Oh, I can get ready in six weeks. I've only been out of um, training for about two years. I've only been out of fighting for two years where Mike Tyson, he hasn't fought in decades. You know, it's been at least 10, 11, 12 years since Mike Tyson fought, if not longer. So with that being said, Roy Jones said, yes, I'll take the fight. He only got six weeks to train. There's no way he can beat me in six weeks. So when that fight got pushed back to November 28th, um, what, 12, 13 weeks? Yeah. So now Tyson has more time to train and to get ready for this fight. So now that Roy feels that he's being set up because Tyson is Tyson. He's a big guy. He's still strong. And he's Mike Tyson. And with a comeback fight. And this is just not no um, exhibition fight. It's going to be a fight. There's a, a referee in there. There's a timer in there. And they're getting ready to go in there and fight. That's Roy Jones. That's Mike Tyson. They're not going to be playing around acting like little kids. They're going to fight. So Roy feels that he will fight Mike Tyson because he is Roy Jones. And he's not backing down from nobody. But he feels that uh, he will be getting set up and he has to die in the ring. Then he'd rather die in that ring than being killed by COVID. So we'll see if uh, Roy Jones and Mike Tyson will be an interesting fight. Um, I know Roy is not Roy anymore. His knees is not the same. His reflexes is not the same. Tyson only knows how to fight one way, and that's coming forward, coming for the knockout, coming to get you, get my check, go home, give the fans what they wanted. That's Mike Tyson. He's not going to get put in a predicament where he gets embarrassed. He's not going to go out there and embarrass himself. He's just not. So Roy feels that he's been set up to get hurt, really bad by Mike Tyson in the fight game because they allowed Mike Tyson longer than six weeks to train when initially the fight was supposed to take place in September, September the 12th to be exact. And it's been pushed over to November 28th. That gave Tyson a lot more time to get in shape, to get into train, to get in shape and to demolish Roy, hurt Roy, but it's not gonna be easy. Roy is smart. I'm not too sure about this anymore, but he does have a lot of heart. So that's pretty much all I have for you guys. No boxing, no life. Peace out. I'm on to the next.